In this video, I am talking about artwork by Luis de Mena, Casta painting with Virgin of Guadalupe, circa 1750, oil on canvas. According to the book, Art and Architecture in Mexico by James Olis, Casta painting is one of the most original and revealing artistic genres to emerge in New Spain. This painting by a little, well, little known artist compresses the diverse landscapes, citizens, and products of New Spain into a single space. Flanking the image of the Virgin of Guadalupe are scenes showing indigenous dancers at her shrine and wealthy citizens promenading along the Canal de la Viga. Below the cast's still life of 17 mostly native fruits includes avocados, squash, among others. Casta paintings represented and rank the mixed unions in visual terms, with explanatory captions to strengthen their didactic function. They were created in two basic formats, single cases divided up into parts and series of up to 16 separate paintings. In either case, each compartment or canvas represents an individual family group consisting of parents of two different races or castes and the offspring of their union. They typically series opens with an Indian and Spanish heritage is increasingly reduced, ending with a monoracial family of feathered Indios Mecos, or non-Christian Chichimex, from the northern frontier, foreigners who were legally outside the colonial system. The inclusion of local landscapes and customs, as well as topical fruits and particular crafts, also carefully labeled, emphasize the particular Novo Hispanic context of the subject. At least 100 whole or partial sets survive, made between 1710 and 1810. Their demise at the end of the colonial period should not was banned in 1822 following independence. The existence of these paintings alongside legal records and other evidence might seem to indicate that the residents of New Spain were kept in order by a rigid sistema de castas or caste system without negating the inherent racism of the Costa painting, nor denying that for many residents of New Spain, ethnic labeling had serious social and economic consequences, the system was far more fluid than the images suggest, besides one's caste, skin color, and occupation. However, starting in the late 16th century, some investigations of ancestry classified as stains, any connection with black Africans, which resulted in mulattoes, and sometimes mixtures with indigenous that produced mestizos, while some illustrations from the period show men of African descent dressed in fashionable clothing and as aristocrats in upper-class surroundings, the idea that any hint of black ancestry was a stain developed by the end of the colonial period a time in which biological racism began to emerge throughout the Western world. This trend was illustrated in 18th century paintings of racial hierarchy known as Costa paintings, which led to 20th century emergence of theories on a caste system existing in colonial Spanish America. In Spanish America, racial categories were registered at local parishes upon baptism as required by the Spanish crown. Initially, in Spanish America, there were three ethnic categories. They generally referred to the multiplicity of indigenous American people as Indians, Indios. Those from Spain called themselves Españoles. The third group were Black Africans, called Negros, Blacks, brought as slaves from the earliest days of Spanish Empire in the Caribbean. Although intermarriage was widespread from the beginning of the colonial period, mestizos only slowly began to be recognized as a distinct ethnicity 150 years after the conquest of Mexico, prior to which they had simply been identified as Spaniards. In the 16th century, the term casta, a collective category for mixed-race individuals, came into existence as a numbers group, particularly in urban, urban areas. Nevertheless, during the first century and a half of the colonial era, the offspring of mixed marriages were registered as Spaniards and only Africans were registered as Costas. 
The registry of mestizos and castas rather than Spaniards only became widespread in the last century of colonial rule. Rather, casta paintings were fundamental in creating all illusion that there was indeed such a rigid system. The most compelling of all surviving casta series and, indeed, one of the greatest secular works ever produced by Nova Hispanic artists was created in 1763 by Miguel Cabrera, who was a mestizo born in Oaxaca. Spaniard and Indian produce a mestizo attributed to Juan Rodriguez Juarez circa 1715, oil on canvas. Typically, Costa paintings display a mother, father, and a child sometimes too. This family model is possibly modeled on depictions of the Holy Family showing the Virgin Mary, Saint Joseph, and Christ as a child. Costa paintings are often labeled with a number and a textual inscription that documents the mixing that has occurred. The numbers and textual inscriptions on Costa paintings create a racial taxonomy akin to a scientific taxonomy. In this way, Costa paintings speak to enlightenment concerns, specifically the notion that people can be rationally categorized based on their ethnic makeup and appearance. On another hand, there's a book by Ilona Katsu, an art curator and writer, one of the world's leading authorities on Costa paintings. She is the author of Costa Painting, Images of Race in 18th Century Mexico. Costa painting translates as caste. It's a genre of painting that originated in colonial Mexico. Created as sets of consecutive images, the works portray racial mixing among the main groups that inhabited the colony, namely Indians, Spaniards, and Africans. In her book, the author examines these paintings within a social and historical context and discusses how the painting's meanings changed according to the times and shift in colonial politics. For example... While early paintings, those from roughly 1700 to 1760, stress the affluence of the colony and embody a collective image of self-pride, later works from about 1760 to 1790 place more emphasis on stratification and the colony's means of production by depicting a host of trades that closely parallel issues raised by contemporary reformers, wrote a contributor to the Los Angeles County Museum of the Arts website in an article about the book and exhibit of the same name. In her book, the author looks at how Costa paintings developed historically and why race became the subject of a pictorial genre that spanned a complete century. Writing in the historian, Jose C. Moya pointed out that the author explains that although the term Costa theoretically applied to all castes or ethno-racial groups in colonial Mexico, including the colonizers, In practice, it came to designate people of mixed racial origin.